Hello YouTube and today I'll be showing you how to install and do a review on Jesus is Partition and Manager Professional. Now to do this you'll have to go to the download link in the description and it will take you to a page like this. And it, this is a download page for Jesus Partition Manager 10.0 Professional Plus they um, key and serial number. Once you have downloaded this torrent, you have you will go and find it and uh, to where you have saved it, and it should have three files in it. One should say install notes. One co should be called e -E -P -M underscore trial, and one should be called crack. You don't really need the notes, but the crack and the mpm underscore trial are the main ones so first what you want to do is double click on the EMP EMP trial and go to and press yes on this box that comes up it should then take you to a page like this which shows up select set up language select the language to use during the installation Depending on where you come from, you can um, choose France, Chinese or Japanese, I think that is, English and Dutch. Because I'm from England, I should choose Dutch and press OK. It would then bring up another box, you just press Next on that one. Press I accept the terms of this and press Next. Then press Next again. And then press Next again. And then you can choose whether you want to create this, so I don't want any of these. But you may choose otherwise and then press next then press install now this should uh, t this should take um just under a minute or so while it opens up all the um files so i'm just having a bit of technical difficulty there and then have to go through it again Oops, next next, next. Yes, next. Let's take all those again. Next, install. Sorry about that. Now once this is done, it, it should come onto another screen letting you know. And as you can see, the setup is finished, installing Easels Partition Master Edition on your computer. The application may be launched by selecting inst installed icons. Click finish the setup, so you click finish and now it sometimes doesn't close that but that's alright now you come over to your crack folder and it should be got one called only one folder called license mgr.dll copy this and come to your computer your local disk then come to program files um, brackets 86 Brackets 86, that was just a page showing you thanks for installing. Then come to Easels, then go to Easels Partition Manager 10.0, and then come to Bin. And then just find any space where you're not having over anything, right? And click and press Paste. It will say, the, There is already a file with the same name in the, this location, right? Cop and now there's two options copy and replace, and don't copy. Click copy and replace and then press it will say you need to provide and reach that permission to copy this folder just press continue and then it should do it now close down this and go to now just locate easels and go to start or programs easels partition manager 10.0 and then easels easels partition manager 10.0 again then press yes now I've just set a password, I just need to put that in, sorry.
Now I am. Now once you get onto here, now d it it will show you your discs you have. Like here's your local disc. Depending on depending on how many hard drives you have, depends on how many it shows. So that's it. And these two super floppy would be your um USB flash drives that type of stuff. Now here partition is like your drive name. So mine C. Your file system is NTFC or FAT32. NTFC is what allows you to boot from that device, and FAT32 is just like a low-profile storage device. Obviously, capacity tells you how much is stored, how much is used, and how much is unused, and the status of that device. Now, starting from the top corner, you like I've done in general you can set a password and you can change your view like oh, let me zoom out actually you, in view you can you can get rid of all the test bars and that like that like, I like that enabled and you can get rid of the toolbars items labeled meaning it will only have the logo not the actual whereas like as you can see refresh apply redo and undo and now came back and there's also an action plan I'm not sure what that is and a disk map location that means this little thing here I think and then on top yes it does there we are but I, I like that being at the bottom as I don't really need to look at it that a lot over in disk is where you can copy a disk and change all stuff but it was soon as that disk one would go as soon as you press on a um disk and it will turn to partition. Now this is where you can resize and create partitions and merge partitions like I could if I had two USBs I could merge the two capacity capacities together so it looked like one in, when in fact it's two separate ones. That's one good thing. And the tools you can make backup tool you can make change one into a bootable device like you can boot from your USB stick wizard I'm not actually sure what that is um, um, I will leave a link in the description so you can read a bit more about this software if you do not feel I have given all the um, information needed and obviously your help by is to inquire about anything can check for updates where and this is the latest one over in the corner is pretty much the same you can copy your partitions you can change the label so like mine's called sandisk usb and if you click on that you can change it and just hit ok when you're done you can because this file system is fat32 you can convert it to ntfc i'm not going to do that because I need it as FAT32 for what I'm using it for. You can change the drive letter like as you can see here, let me zoom in a little. My USB drive letter is E and if I come to my library that's what it displays as as well, E. That's what it means by that. And you could change that. Uh, you can change it between anything from A to Z there A to Z yeah and just once you're done is once you're done that is just hit and let me find let's just change anything uh, sand disk I'll just call it that's because it's called sand disk and then just hit OK and then it will change it once you do change anything though before you move on to something else you must hit this apply button next to the refresh most otherwise it won't save it now you just hit apply and then this little window come up depending on how many operations is currently pending it will say but in my case it's one it says one operation is currently pending apply the change now press yes you can get your computer to restart after it's done this change but there's no need so just hit yes straight away and then it will go through this little box it says one operation has, has been executed successfully share your happiness with friends, I don't see the point in that, so I just hit OK and it's done. You can also, it will say updating system, 
information and you can also light that up here when you click on one you can also make it bootable in the tools section here also you can format it like I could format my USB stick if I wanted to into how much I want it formatted to and then just hit OK and then it will format it and once again once it's formatted you have to hit apply again and then press yes and depending on what um, operation it's doing depends on how long the applying changes process will take so just leave that to do and there it's done and it's say uh, updating system information it's good um, it'd be good to press hit refresh as well it went small over in the top right is where you have your data recovery and your backup tools obviously right in the top is your close down at the bottom is where you can look at how much is used and how much space compared to how much space you've got left on a drive solid blue is how much is used and sorry solid blue is how much you have is the capacity and the other like blue if you white is how much you've got left so yeah like and um, I think that's it t for today thanks for checking out this video on the installation and review on EASOS on EASOS Partition Manager Technical Edition I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks guys.